friends welcome back to the channel for another video if you're new here my name is Jerry Nicomaisia but all my friends call me G and welcome back to the channel girl for another video not only is this a video welcome to weektober I was about to say vlogmas girl welcome to weektober so I've never done weektober before and I think this will be fun um I'm pretty much going to be uploading well I'm not gonna be uploading all week you guys will have each week you each day you will have something of me so let me actually share with y'all y'all my eyelash is literally trying to come off I just finished recording a video child that makeup she eating down um let me tell y'all what we're gonna be doing so right now you guys are gonna be seeing this on Sunday so Sunday you get a vlog Monday you're gonna get fashion content Tuesday a vlog Wednesday we're gonna go live Thursday fashion content Friday a vlog to end off the week Saturday to end off vlog not vlog miss girl this is week tober to end off week tober we're gonna go live you know we're gonna have a uh, drinks so Saturday night we're gonna you need to get you your drink together because we're gonna have drinks actually you guys are gonna be most likely making lemon drops with lemon drop G. You guys know Prosecco G. She's real bougie, real cute, real, you know, perch. She be sitting, okay? Lemon drop G. She's she, she she's a vibe, okay? So I want to learn how to make lemon drops. So you guys are gonna be making lemon drops with me on live, okay? So that was the schedule all week. Now, if anything changed, you guys will know when it changed, girl. But right now, I'm about to edit this video. I usually do not like um recording the day before something has to go up because it just be too much and this is the latest i've ever recorded it is 8 35 child right now i'll be on my couch watching sex in the city with a glass of wine which i low-key would love a glass of wine right now because i still have to edit i still need to take off my makeup but when my makeup look this good that's another reason why i don't like um recording late if it was earlier we'll go we'll go somewhere because this is a fresh face besides this lash trying to hate on me this is a fresh face and i tried a new blush today which i'm loving for all of the people who's probably typing down in the comments about my hair baby i've been going back and forth about if i wanted to address this because if we've been honest when it comes to my hair when people say oh gee i love you with the pixie cool i appreciate it but a lot of the comments are beginning to not become um, compliments anymore it's it's coming off as insults like telling me what i should and should not do and i'm whoop de whoop de whoop child last last week somebody made a comment about my hair and telling it was just nasty and it was a day y'all i was like yeah i'm with the smoke today and i'm about to air you out so i made a comment back and my sister was like you say that and i was like yeah because what people gonna stop doing is stop playing with me on beyonce's internet i feel like people literally feel like they can come out the side of their face and tell me whatever they feel like they can they, they want to like I, and i'm not supposed to say nothing like as a influencer or somebody or i get it i put myself on the internet and people they're gonna make comments about things which i honestly don't care about but some of y'all, y'all be going far, okay? Don't you ever put that uh wig back on your head and it's back. <laughs> and what they gonna do about it? What they gonna do about it? Because she's back. Yeah. Um, but the day when my sister said, you said that, she like deleted. One thing about my sister, y'all, she is with all of the shits. So when she said I went too far and she was like deleted, and I was like, why? I was like, if people feel like they could say something to me when I got a little more uh in me that day, I could say something back. She was like, delete it, delete it, delete it. So I deleted it, but I'm I'm and I've definitely been on a blocking spree all week. Like, mm, when I now when I see certain comments, block. So now you can't even comment. So but all of the people who are possibly commenting, typing right now, whether you're saying something negative or positive, girl, when it comes to the hair, I, I love you guys down, okay? I get it. Some people gonna like it. Some people gonna hate it. Some people like the pixie. Mm-hmm. I get it. I get it. But when it comes to hair comments right now, well, let's just take them and tuck them in our pockets. And we're going to save them for later. Like way later. Okay. Because y'all, y'all be, listen, y'all be wild. It was me having a bad day and seeing somebody in Target. 
this girl proceed to tell me how I should never wear a wig ever in my life ever again and in my head I'm like this is not a compliment I'm actually highly offended right now and I honestly just want this conversation to be over but I'm about to take this lash off because I can't take it no more but I'm about to would y'all want to baby tell me lashes don't <laughs> make the woman oh my god Did Let's just go ahead and take the other one off. Do y'all want to see me get under, not undressed, child, undone? Do y'all care about that? I'm about to pick up my mess, possibly watch some trashy TV, and edit this video so it can go up tomorrow. I don't know if you guys want to see me do skincare. So I'm not going to show y'all because another thing, this week the vlogs will not, the content will not be extremely long form content so don't be coming over here girl looking for an hour long vlog it ain't giving it okay it's just giving let's kick it this week we, we whatever i do you guys are gonna do we're gonna kick it there's a few things that i have in mind that i want to do and i was like this is the perfect week to do it so whatever i do i will most likely share with you guys so strap up and let's get ready for this week this is going to be a whole week with me i'm excited for the lives because i feel like it's been a minute since we did live so we should do live. Well, do live. Go live. All right, girl. Let me go. Y'all, not me up in here cleaning up my mess from recording and the lights went off. And the first thing that came to my head, I don't even know why I was. Well, Lord, did I pay my <laughs> did I pay my light bill? And then I was like, uh-uh. It can't it, it ain't that because everything is on auto pay. Girl, I looked out the window. Everybody lights off. I don't know what's going on because it's not storming to where the lights should be off. Last time this happened, somebody ran into a light pole that knocked everything down. Thank God I have these lamps from Amazon. They are wireless. So you can turn them on, turn them off. And throughout the day, I do keep these plugged up. And thank God I do because I have... Y'all remember my niece was talking about me and she was like, Gigi, why you got 10 lamps? Yeah, all 10 of well. How many? One, two, four lamps is coming in handy because all of those are uh, charged up and wireless. And I believe they can stay on for 16 hours. So we're good. So I have that one. I have one in the bathroom, but I'm not going to turn that one on. And I have like candles lit, which I always have lit. But I was like, girl, thank God I finished recording. Like I finished recording maybe 15 minutes ago. If I was recording this video... And that would have happened, I would have been hurt because this video has to go up in the morning. Now, my, my computer about to die, so what I'm going to do is, most likely, I'm about to go sit in the hallway because the hallway has um electricity. I'm about to take my kombucha and we're about to go sit on the, in the hallway on the floor and charge my computer because the content must get uploaded, okay? <laughs> No matter what's going on, the content it will get uploaded. Uh, it may be on soon, but I, I still would rather edit. So, cause I can always run to like, in the morning, I could run to Starbucks and upload the video. But I was like, girl, I gotta tell a vlog this. But my phone is on 25%. I'm about to watch some YouTube or something because, uh-uh. Now, the only thing that's gonna annoy me is I'm picking up my mess and the more I move, I get a little hot. Once I get too hot, I'm aggravated. Girl, not me going into the hallway to go edit my video to plug my computer up in the thing. Girl, I opened up my I opened up my door, y'all. All of the plugs in the hallway, everybody's plugged in. Other neighbors are out, literally plugged in. And I was like, girl, mouth drop. The girl who lives next door to me, I think she's having a party. Music still blasting. I guess they have like a speaker. Music still blasting and it's still a vibe. So I'm about to watch Sex in the City, but baby, I am on 13%. Somebody going to have to give up one of them um, sockets in that hallway because I need to plug up my phone because 13%, what am I going to do with 13%? So we're about to do some skincare, y'all. My skincare has been lacking because a lot of the products that I usually use, I've been out of them. I don't want to ruin this scarf, but I got a Sephora packaging. And I'm about to show y'all what I got. Now, when it comes to my skincare, there's a few items that I have to have. Like, it's like a must have. And what I don't like is the, 
every time I fall in love with something that I love and it like literally give me the best glowy clear skin they always discontinue it or they make it hard for me to find it and there's a few products I'm about to share with y'all that's like my hands down go to the first thing if this camera die I'm gonna fight the first thing is the Kiehl's um, Retexturizing Microdermabrasion. This is what I exfoliate with. I'm going to link her down below. This is one of the best exfoliators I've ever had in my entire life. The next is this Resurfacing Pumpkin Mask from Peter Thomas Roth. This girl here, hard hitter. Okay, and what else can I not live without that? And the next thing, this is what I got from Sephora. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Irish More Mud Mask this is my secret weapon ladies like okay i have been on a hunt for this for i've been out for maybe two months and girl i could tell a difference y'all probably can't tell a difference but i have like a little discoloration around my mouth now i could tell a difference and i also have like a little texture here so that and this is like the hands down best skin cleanser i've tried every skin cleanser you can probably name this is amazing okay and a little goes a long way y'all it is really fall like this week oh my god it's been like 66 degrees and when i tell y'all i have literally been on my balcony every single night every day i usually go out in the morning and i do some work out there if i have work to do i sit out there i listen to music i read my book out there um i ordered a new book that i wanted to read for the month i think i showed y'all in that vlog i was watching the name of it is um the garden within by dr anita phillips but it hasn't come in yet so i started reading a book that i been had which is my one of my favorite books is the four agreements i love rereading that book like every year um but basically i'm saying i've been on my balcony y'all heavy so tomorrow i want to go to at home to see if i could just find some patio things i already got some cushions from at home which i'm obsessed with they were pricey but they were so worth it because it, they're so comfortable and i'm always on my patio but i need to create more of a, a vibe right now it's giving summertime vibes i need a fall vibe today i got a pumpkin and it's giving fall but i can i can do better i'm also on a hunt for a nice outdoor rug for my patio but tomorrow i want to go and look for an outdoor rug at, at home hopefully they have one I don't know if I told y'all, but this is Weektober. So y'all know there's Vlogtober. Vlogtober is when um, vloggers usually do like a vlog every single day during the month of October. I'm not one of them girls. So I was like, oh, I should do Weektober. A full week of creating content, like different things. We can go live. I, I have some unboxings coming in. I could do like some live unboxings with y'all. I think that would be cool. And we could just kick it for a week, uh, you know? And I'm gonna just tell y'all now, I do have a few things that I wanna do this week. Everything is not gonna be lit, but I say, hey, why not? Let's do it. So next I'm about to exfoliate because I like to exfoliate at least once a week. But yeah, I was like, let me take a whack at this weektober now i commend the girls who do vlogtober because baby one thing about it no ma'am even one of my friends she asked me she was like oh my god i was so obsessed with your um vlogmas intro y'all remember the vlogmas intro that i made in my room at home oh my god i deleted that um intro off my computer and i could have literally cried i was so upset i was rushing trying to um edit something and made a mistake and deleted the intro off so we might have to rerun that um that intro back because she was fine okay and now we're going in with my fave if y'all don't have this or you never tried the peter thomas roth irish more mud mask oh my god when i tell y'all when i take this off my face my face just looks so bright so pretty so smooth and it is a um i think it's like a detox mask also she is just everything okay 10 out of 10 recommend i've been using this thing since 2017 i first purchased it during like that the christmas time sale at sephora you know how to give you like that pack of different 
facials and you, you can get like the small ones like this this match was in that um little case oh my god baby i've been purchasing this thing ever since she is my go-to mask i don't care what's happening i want this mask this mask is also 60 dollars. that's not crazy in the world of skincare but that ain't cheap and i just walk around the house minding my business and we'll just come take her off a little later baby if you haven't tried these kind bars the frozen kind bars Oh my god y'all they taste so good they taste like snickers like when i tell y'all i'm obsessed with these things and they're always on sale at target you need to go get you some sis y'all the lights are back on so now i can finish doing my work i hope everything saved if this video did not save i am gonna i'm gonna lose it <clears throat> oh my god it saved Whew. Hi guys, it is the next day. It is 6.06 .06, baby, p.m., not the a, the p. And I am, I'm, I'm in my feels right now, y'all. So it is, how can I say this without being feeling like I'm TMI? I'm feeling like a lady right now, like a real lady. You know, mother nature is just like on me. So, it's that time and y'all I'm in my feelings and I just want to eat I told my friend I don't know what's going on with that time of the month but I cannot stop eating and right now the only thing I want is chicken tortilla soup from not Trader Joe's what's them people Chick-fil-a which I'm not going but I'm going to Whole Foods and get these cookies so there's these peanut butter cookies that literally have me in a chokehold i haven't had some it's been at least two weeks we're gonna get some my grandma come calling me today talking about some it's um it's gumbo weather and i'm looking at her like don't you y'all know if you watched my vlogs last year y'all know my grandma put me through it i was like chasing behind this woman to cook gumbo she gonna come call me something it's gumbo season and i'm cooking gumbo saturday now i'm looking at her like i don't believe she cooking the child but is she cooking it? Child, I told her I'll be at your house with my own pot. I need you to make me a pot because, child, oh, I love gumbo, y'all. So, we about to go because what is me coming to, ooh, three for nine. What is me coming here without getting one of these? And I think they only have two left. Might as well. Oh, no, they got a few more. I only have two more of these at home. These are the peanut butter cookies that I've been obsessed with so they're usually i think these are about a whole foods brand they actually bake these here and i'm in my field so i think we need two of these so we're gonna go ahead and get two now they also come in like the smaller ones the smaller ones are okay but something about these the best how do i deal with rejection i'm dealing with a lot of rejection right now and if it's a very so I know I said I was gonna do my unboxings on live I'm gonna just show y'all what I got on live but I just got a very large Zara order in listen when it comes to Zara y'all I'm, I'm officially done I'm not ordering anything else we're done <laughs> All right, so I am at at home with my grandma because all right I'm going by the the outdoor stuff don't get cute in here and get lost because I will tell them to call your name on the intercom I'm at, at home with my grandma because I need some outdoor patio furniture or uh, decor y'all they already got Christmas trees up and if we get on this maybe we could I'm not my grandma looking for Halloween decorations we could skip Halloween to get straight to the Christmas stuff because now who paying six hundred dollars for this fake tree? Girls giving Charlie Brown tree for six hundred dollars. Um, okay, so let me pay attention. So the vibe that I am looking for is some fall decor. I already got new cushions from here. Now I need a a rug. So I need to go this way first. I need a rug. I found out I cannot have. I had an umbrella on my patio girl they politely knocked on my door and was like yeah 
you can't have that sis so i had to take that down so i need to find something else to give me like a more nice little vibe so hold on let's see these are doormats i need like actual outdoor rugs i think these are kitchen mats So where the hell is the outdoor rugs? All right, so these are the outdoor rugs. Now my vibe on my patio is black and white. I do not want a full black, not black rug. This is way too big. Now the funny thing is I'm up in here looking for rugs and I did not measure that patio, y'all. So we about to wing it, but I don't see anything that I would actually buy. Everything is giving summertime vibes and this is giving Hell no. None of this is giving what I need. I guess back to Amazon I go. Y'all, this is a real unsuccessful trip. They don't have nothing. They usually have everything. They have nothing. I bet y'all any money, my grandma about to, t yes! My grandma about to ask me to go out to eat. One thing about my grandma, she wanna go out to eat. And she definitely about to ask me, I just feel it. What did you find? Yeah, the uh, house rugs, they ugly. We didn't um, talk about eating. We <laughs> you always hungry every time we go somewhere. I ain't been out to eat since we <laughs> And you always tell me that every time. I have, I have. Since, I'm, I, since I'm back working like I used to work, I don't try to do nothing. I be feeling like you be tricking me. Yeah. We can go somewhere, but we not going to Applebee's. You could give that up. Where are we going, Applebee's is equivalent to eating at McDonald's, and I ain't doing it. That's what you think? Yes, Applebee's is disgusting. So where you want to go? I don't know you. What do you feel like eating? I told y'all she was going to go to uh to eat. I told y'all. I just knew this. This was just her way of getting me out the house. Oh, let's go to at home. Yeah. No, let's go out to eat. I probably can't see me, but I have never been to Olive Garden before because when I was a kid, I remember I asked my grandma, can we go to Olive Garden? And you know what she said? She said, no, I had one option. That was Golden Corral. And I have been triggered because I don't like uh, buffets and I don't like going to restaurants that have carpet. Now, grandma, we walk into this Olive Garden and they got carpet. Carpet? Carpet on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get your hopes down like because I'm gonna turn around. Like grandma, everywhere we go tonight gonna be crowded. Oh, my grandma never had Olive Garden either, y'all. So, I wanna see what the hype is about. I heard they got some good biscuits, not biscuits. They oh, bread, they garlic bread, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we ain't got nowhere to fall. How we couldn't afford Olive Garden? I ain't never said we couldn't afford it. Grandma, you told me that. You said it's too high and you, you cussed. Oh. You just wanted to go to Golden Corral. That's probably why I spent so much money now, because when I was a kid, you told me no for everything. So now I have no self-control, and I blame you. Y'all, this better be good, because it's giving, we're about to see. I saw a um, TikTok post, and I think they say the Olive Garden have carpet on the floor. Y'all, my grandma is literally trying to see if they have carpet. Oh, I don't think they have carpet. Come on, let's see. Oh my Thank God. Y'all, they got carpet on the floor. <laughs> you still want to try it? So why you don't carpet I get triggered by carpet at restaurants. That is not okay. Y'all, we walk in and my grandma said, oh Lord, Jerry, you could have got carpet on the floor. <laughs> so, my inner child is so happy. She's like, we going to Applebee, we going to um, Olive Garden. And the adult version of me is like, girl, calm down. It's the carpet, y'all. Look at the carpet. Yeah, this is not a place where I feel like you come to get fried shrimp. You gotta get pasta. Well, you don't have to. Hi, how y'all doing? My name's Maria, and I'll be taking care of y'all today. Hi, Maria. Maria, this is our first time in Olive Garden. Is it? Yeah, so okay. okay. Tell us about the advertising that be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> 
have a lemon drop and a water. No, I don't never ID me. I like that. So I got two lemon drops and a water. Why you ask for her ID? Can I see your ID? <laughs> she wants me to be asking. All right, my love. Thank you. Alrighty, and then I'll just give you a couple minutes to look over the menu. For what? We just tell you what we want. Oh, sorry. Sorry, how long you been here? You ready to go home? Ready to go. I feel you. You remember what I told you I wanted? You wanted the shrimp alfredo with the pasta pajoli. Yeah. Y'all, I'm back home. So, my little outing with my grandma at Olive Garden, we both looked at each other. She said, it ain't like they said on a commercial. <laughs> I said, and I can listen to it on the iPod. Y'all remember when Nene was like, the music ain't that good. I can listen to it on the iPod. That's how I felt. Olive Garden was a 2 out of 10. I would not recommend. And baby, I would never be back, okay? My grandma said she wouldn't go back neither. Like, my grandma, she okay with going to certain places. She like, mm, let's try it. I was like, okay, we could try it. But child, when we walked in that restaurant, y'all, and she, because I was behind her, and she stopped, and she was like, oh, my God, Jerry, you could have half carpet on the floor. <laughs> y'all, I could tell she was so disappointed because y'all heard me tell her in the car. I say, girl, if you walk up in this restaurant and you see carpet on that floor, you can just turn around. Don't get excited. When she walked in, because at first when you walk in, they have like hard tile, but they, it like splits off and there's carpet where you eat that. Y'all, when that woman saw that carpet, she just stopped. She was like, Jeronica, that's carpet. And I could tell, I could see the disappointment on her face. I was like, oh, Jeronica, just suck it up and eat. Something about carpet at restaurants, it really bothers me. I just don't understand. We're in 2023. We're about to be in 2024. Carpet in hotels and carpet in restaurants should be illegal. Like, it's disgusting. Like, when I say disgusting, it literally just... Oh, it's like my biggest pet peeves. Carpet at hotels. Carpet at the airport! Who? Decided to put carpet at the airport. I am fighting my luggage on the this stupid old carpet, especially in New York, y'all. I was like the whole time, bag hurting. Y'all know my bags be over, and I can uh, travel with two suitcases, the biggest they can possibly be. Who puts carpet in the airport? Who puts carpet in a restaurant? And who the hell puts carpet in a hotel? That is disgusting. Like, carpet is just disgusting. Even at this point, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Carpet in um, apartments, I don't like carpet. Like, carpet is like, I'm that girl. If I walk somewhere and I see carpet, I just feel like my skin starts to crawl. I don't like carpet. But I'm about to listen to music, y'all. It is 8.52. Honestly, my day, this is not what I wanted for us. So today, my plan was to... It's Friday night. So I'm like, girl, it's Friday night. Let's, let's go out. It's fall. I just wanted to get cute, put on all black because I'm dying for all black look. And I just got these shoes in from Zara. I can't wait to show y'all on live. We're going live Wednesday. I would want to just put on an all black moment and feel myself, okay? But yeah, I had plans for us tonight, girl. It did not go well because if we've been honest, when I woke up today, y'all, I honestly thought today was um Thursday. I don't know how. So I told my sister, I text her and I was like, let me borrow your baby for the night. And she was like, yes. And the first thing I was like, wait, first of all, you too excited. Like, what is it giving? What he gonna cut up on me? Y'all know my sister at the beginning of the year, she had a baby y'all. And that is my heart. I love this kid so much. I call him brother baby because that's just his name. Brother baby. It's not really his name, but we call him brother baby. So I was like, let me watch brother baby. I don't know what happened last night, but I had this feeling. I was like, hmm, how do people watch kids overnight? Like, how do you know what to do with a kid? I was like, well, maybe you should just borrow your sister kid and just figure it out. I said, hey, let me borrow your kid for the night. She, she like, yes. Girls, I, I, um, I don't know what happened, but I changed my mind. So, yes, I will see you guys tomorrow because we will definitely be cutting this hair. Also, I just um posted today that I'm doing a... We're doing a, let me see it. We're doing a challenge. We're doing a Q4 
workout challenge. Hopefully you guys can join me. Oh my God, you could join me because today you guys are seeing this, it is Sunday. I'm starting the challenge tomorrow morning. So we're doing a treadmill challenge again. The name of the challenge is Mission Unbig This Bag. Now my bag not that big, but let me just show y'all this. I can tell kids been here, girl, they got colors. Mission Unbig My Bag. Now we do got a little, you know, <laughs> see this? She needs for this, that, do you see this little addition right here? Unbig this, it gotta go, okay? It gotta go. So, unbig this back, join me. So, one thing about me, y'all, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a YouTube community, but let me tell y'all about the challenge because I would love for you guys to join me. Now, if a lot of people have been asking me, hey, that's a little too much for me, I have, you know, maybe bad knees or whatever y'all told me y'all got. You don't have to do this. You can do whatever works. Ooh, works for you. That's rose water, y'all. You can do whatever works for you. So during the, during this 30-day challenge, we're doing the treadmill. I picked the treadmill because I feel like when I did do this at the beginning of the year, this was effective. It was, I know it's easy, but it's not intimidating. So if you feel like you haven't worked out in a while, this is a great thing to do. And also you're about to have a, how many subscribers I got? Let's just say 50,000 other women possibly doing this um, challenge with you so we can all kind of like be accountability partners. I'm gonna post my updates and tell you guys, you know, hey, check in, did you work out today? We're gonna just hold each other accountable because even when sometimes you guys show me that you working out, I can't lie, it does make me be like, on days where I feel like, oh, what's the point? I don't feel like doing it. When I do see y'all like say, hey G, I'm at the gym watching your video or something, y'all do make me be like, I can at least go for 30 minutes. You know, either way, the 30, I can sit on this couch for 30 minutes, it's, the 30 minutes is still gonna pass by. So I feel like having accountability partners and just feeling like I'm doing it with other people, it, it's, I don't know, it's fun and it's, um, mo it's, it's motivation. All right, so we're gonna do the treadmill. We're gonna do the incline from 12 to 15. You can pick your incline. So you can start off at 12 or you can do 13, 14, 15, whatever you like. Um, so for speed, I did put 2.3 to three because I feel like that's pretty good. If you wanna um, alter it, if 2.3 is too much for you, do what works for you. Just get active, okay? Um, and we're gonna do this 40 minutes every day for 30 days and we're starting this October 16th through November 15th. I would love for you guys to join me for mission on Big This Back, okay? So, yeah. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow because we're cutting my hair. We're not cutting too short. Let me put on my glasses because I can't see. So for my hair, I want her to be at least here. Um, and also, I gotta talk to y'all tomorrow because I'm also going to PV Homecoming. So, if I see you, you better speak to me, girl. Because I'm definitely gonna be at PV Homecoming living my best life. So, I think I wanna wear this uni because I don't have time to be fighting the pixie. And I want her a little shorter and we're gonna give her layers and volume and all of the things. So, we're gonna do that tomorrow. I'm about to vibe out and I will see you guys later. Bye. I'm actually about to play dress up. If we're being honest, I literally have my speaker here. I'm about to probably drink kabucha because y'all, I'm obsessed. And I'm about to play dress up because I got some new pieces and I'm done shopping. I'm done shopping, but I don't know. I'm in a mood to play dress up. I can't even lie. So I will see you girls tomorrow. Hopefully you guys, well, we just started, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. It's a whole lot of chill sh so i literally feel like i'm on facetime with my friend this is literally how we be doing a whole lot of nothing just chit chatting and i leave home facetime i literally be trying on clothes whether i'm talking to my sister my friend or whatever and that's how i feel right now so hopefully you guys are enjoying i've been talking for 13 minutes girl goodbye